was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape for me. A candid Justin Bieber opening up on camera for the first time about his past struggles. You have all these people around me just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me, knowing that like I was living this lifestyle that they also wanted to live, drinking, smoking. In his new YouTube docuseries, Justin Bieber, Seasons, you get a glimpse of the turmoil in his personal life. As humans, we go through so many ups and downs, so many good seasons, bad seasons. Pop superstar Justin Bieber rested at Miami Beach overnight. Charged with DUI, resisting arrest. All of which, he says, led him to abruptly put his career on hiatus in 2017, canceling his tour. I was waking up in the morning, and the first thing I was doing is popping pills and smoking a blunt and starting my day. Nothing was off limits. Director Michael Ratner follows the pop star on his journey to sobriety. He was willing to go there, and he said to me, there's power and weakness. All while Bieber works on his first studio album in nearly five years. I love to see him do what he is so good at. <laughs> Bieber's wife, model Haley Baldwin, by his side, offering a rare look at the couple in their day-to-day -day lives. <laughs> she makes everything better. Vogue described Haley as a super ego to Justin's id. The show also touches on Bieber's recent diagnosis with both Lyme and Epstein-Barr diseases, the docuseries boosting Bieber's YouTube stats, this week becoming the first artist to reach 50 million subscribers. A full circle moment, since it was that platform that helped launch his music career as a tween. When covers like this one, Chris Brown's With You caught the eye of industry mogul Scooter Braun back in 2008. Nightline's cameras were backstage in those early years as Bieber fever swept the nation. I feed off the fans' energy. If they're screaming really loud, I get pumped up, and, you know, it's really exciting to me. From the beginning, Justin Bieber has been someone who looked like he was cooked up in a factory to make the perfect male teen idol. At the time he first became publicly prominent was unusual in that he didn't have a TV show on Nickelodeon or the Disney Channel or MTV to kind of prop him up. Like so many child stars, his coming of age was for the world to see. Being a young star is like taking a tall ship through the biggest storm you can imagine. It will test everything. It will take the weakest, most vulnerable parts of who you are and it will expose them to the greatest stress. His blunders were public. In 2014, the young star's behavior triggering multiple tabloid-filled run-ins with the law, including a DUI arrest. Remember, everybody loves young teen stars because they are compliant. And then one day, they are not compliant. Despite the controversies, Bieber launched his Purpose World Tour in 2017, 150 concerts across 40 countries in 16 months. But what fans saw? A visibly exhausted pop star on stage. Bieber abruptly cancels the final 14 shows, posting on Instagram, me taking this time right now is me saying I want to be sustainable. I want my career to be sustainable, but I also want my mind, heart, and soul to be sustainable. He didn't want to tour anymore, and he more or less dropped out of sight. In the new docuseries, his creative team talks about that tumultuous time. I freaked out when Justin canceled the tour. Performing is the thing that he loves most in this world. And so for him to say that he didn't want to do it, I knew it had to be pretty serious. It just got scary. I basically said to myself, oh my God, if you're real, you get me through this season of stopping these pills and stuff. And if you do, I'll do the rest of the work. In search of something deeper, Bieber seeks spiritual guidance. He is photographed in conversation with Pastor Carl Lentz, who at the time was also involved with advising a number of NBA stars, most notably Kyrie Irving. Yeah, Justin is a, a friend of ours. He loves the Lord with all his heart. There was a night where he wanted to renew his faith and he wanted to get baptized again. Haley says their relationship only got serious once he chose to be sober. He was the first person I ever had real feelings for. When things kind of went south for a little bit and we went our separate ways, 
I just knew that no matter what the outcome was going to be, he was going to be somebody that I loved for the rest of my life. Just the idea of stability uh, is something that I really never had growing up. And it's something that I've always really wanted. She believes her husband's addictions were a byproduct of his early fame. I think when you take somebody very, very young and they start to get horrible, crazy, crippling anxiety and it goes undiagnosed and you don't know what it is that you're feeling, you start to self-medicate because it makes you feel better. But my friend Justin Bieber came all the way. His public turning point came at a surprise appearance at Coachella in 2019, ending his musical hiatus by joining Ariana Grande on stage to sing Sorry. Alluding to a comeback as he left the stage. I'm coming soon. As he was walking off stage, he said that to Alice. He said, I need to get back out here. I want you to schedule me. He's like, I want to go to the studio and I want to dance and I want to go to the gym and I want vocal warm-ups in there and I want, like, he wanted me to build him a rolling itinerary like I do when he's working. Which is what he says he's doing now, spending most of his time in the studio preparing his new album, Changes. Yeah, every time I come around, you get it done. 50, 50, love the, way the camera's rolling through the entire creative process. Am I a perfectionist? Oh, yeah. I think for me, Things have always been so polished and so like perfect and everything needed to be so perfect. And I just felt like I had to worry about literally everything. Like, don't touch your face that way. Don't touch your hair. You're ruining, you got a stain on your shirt. Like, that's why these little things, like, I really just don't want to even make that a huge deal. The new record is obviously very much about Justin's relationship with Haley. It's really hard being the muse of a whole album. I'm just kidding, don't put that in there. My life is changing a lot. Getting married, getting back in the studio, talking about getting married, like just writing about the process and just being creative with being in this new chapter and being happy about what I'm doing and not like, I don't know, just being in a good headspace. And in the final act of his comeback, Bieber recently announcing he's going back on tour. And I think Justin can address the conflicts and challenges in his life and still be very appealing and very liked. It is impossible not to root for that guy. We all have our individual pains and fears and anxieties, worries. I think that being human is, is challenging for everybody. I think that we're all struggling to some degree. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.